Hi everybody. Um, we are live on my Instagram and I am here with my fabulous intern from Florida State University, Caroline. I'm going to do a little intro first and then Caroline is going to introduce herself. Um, so this is Caroline, as I said, I am looking at my notes also. <laughs> We're going to be really cash today, really casual. Um, so I'm the owner of Nell Shelby Productions and um, I'm really excited to have Caroline on board. Caroline is, I think, our fourth or fifth mm -hmm. Florida State University intern. Um, as you all probably, or you may know, if you're in the dance world, you'll know that they have an amazing dance department there. And um, I've known about the dance department for such a long time because I worked with Jawale Zoller at Urban Bushwomen and she teaches there. Mm -hmm. And so she would head down to Florida, to Tallahassee when I was working with her. And so I got to learn a little bit about the dance department. So um, if you saw my last newsletter, I talked a lot about mentoring. That's been something that I've really always loved doing. I've had, I'm going on my, I think I just hired my 40th intern at Jacob's Pillow Dance Festival last summer after being there for over 20 years. So I, I really love to mentor the up and coming and to be able to share my knowledge and to be able to share with, um, you know, with those that are, especially those that are, that are interested in, in video. So here we have today, Caroline, and I'm going to ask her a few questions and we're not in separate squares. <laughs> we're together in the office, in the Nell Shelby Productions office. Um, Caroline is on site in New York City. Um, maybe she can. Maybe you can just tell a little bit about what you're doing. Just yeah. tell us. Tell us who you are. Like, how? Why are you in New York versus in Tallahassee? Mm -hmm. Let's hear it. Yeah. So, like Nell said, I am a member of the Florida State University's School of Dance. I am a fourth year dance major, finishing up my last semester here, graduating in May. Um, and we have a program called Arts in NYC where me and 17 other members of my cohort are here in the city finishing up classes, working on our senior capstones, and we all have internships. And so this is my internship and it's been absolutely amazing being immersed in the New York City community and getting to finish my degree here is so special. And yeah, I'm really excited. I've loved every moment of being on this team so far and I'm looking forward to the future. Okay, hopefully she's being like really honest <laughs> because I'm sitting right next to her. <laughs> but um, but it's been really so 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 great having you, Caroline. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been fun because Caroline's gone on a few shoots with us, mm -hmm. has been in the office with us, and um, bubbly, excited energy has been bringing itself into our world, and we're all really really happy about that. Mm -hmm. um, so, Caroline, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Um, mm -hmm. So tell me why, why did you decide to intern at Nell Shelby Productions? Why did you want to do this in the first yes. place? So I learned about y'all through Meg, who is a part of the team here. Um, and I saw all that she was posting about y'all at the pillow last summer and just seeing how much she adored the company. And I knew when I was looking for internships, because all of us had to individually find our internships, I knew I wanted to be in this video realm just because I've grown to love it through my um, last few years at Florida State. I love State. it. And you keep talking because I just <laughs> lost my notes. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, I, and then I, of course, other, you've had other FSU interns. And so I knew that they all have positive experiences here. And so I talked to our, um, who's in charge of our program, Hannah, uh, Hannah Swadron. And she was like, I think it'd be a great fit. I think it'd be an amazing experience. And here we are. And, and here we are. There. So... So I would love to know, like, um, I mean, you told me this, but I think it's good to talk about it again. Yeah. So what was, what drew you into, you've been a dancer your whole life. Yes. But what drew you into video? Yeah. So one of the requirements with the dance degree and honestly just a college degree in general is computer competency. And we have a survey of dance technology class with um, FSU where we learn how to like edit and like do stuff with photo, video, and projection. And I immediately fell in love with the video aspect. I loved getting to do shoots, even when we were just like using our phone and little pixies. I thought it was so fun. And then our program has a dance documentation crew, which I joined my sophomore year. And I was able to get to document our school's performances mm. in wide and tight shots. And I absolutely loved it. I loved every moment of it. Um, 
And so I think that type of like documentation of dance really got me interested in like how the art of just using a camera can be its own choreography and its own dance. Yeah. And so that, and then also getting to work with um, Tim Glenn, who's in charge of that documentation crew more personally as his TA last semester, as well as doing some personal projects, like little dance films, doing some stuff with our um, MFA shows. It's been something I didn't realize I would fall in love with, yeah. but here we are and I'm so happy I found it to because it's another avenue I can take outside of just being a dancer. Definitely. I feel like that's that's like one thing that I'm so grateful that I, well actually that I encourage people mm -hmm. to do is to have like that other thing. Yeah. Which I feel like it's not, um, it's it's very tempting as a dancer mm -hmm. to just be like, I, I just want to do this. Like yep. this is the thing I want to yep. do. But I remember I I had a Pilates, a teacher that taught Pilates mm -hmm. at my school, mm -hmm. and she was amazing. Mm -hmm. And so then I got hours doing Pilates so mm -hmm. that I could get my certification when I came to New York City. And um, and then I remember my dance teacher was not so fond of the fact that I was double majoring in broadcast video huh. um, <clears throat> because she wanted me to just focus on dance. Mm -hmm. But I just knew that like it's important to have just one other one other thing, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. because you never know. Mm -hmm. So. Let's see if anyone's, um, yes, I know. It is so cool. It's what a cool program, yes. for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so so it's wonderful. And it, isn't it cool like just to fall into something as yes. well and yes. to realize, like, oh, I really like this. Mm -hmm. I know. And especially this whole team has been so welcoming. And the community that you've created is just so wonderful. And even though every member of the team isn't necessarily here in the office or here in New York, like yeah. the community is so strong and everyone loves and cares about each other so falling into something like this has really been very eye-opening to how it like could be after I graduate and go into the work field and stuff I know because you did tell me like is there like some butterflies that are happening as you're getting close to graduation yes very I mean it's kind of hard to not have the butterflies um just I think just the structure of school just dwindling away yeah every second is just <laughs> crazy but it's exciting because I know that the future there's so much out there and especially being in the city like I feel like I'm kind of getting a jump start on like what life could be like after I graduate and like falling in love with being not on a college campus and yeah. having that kind of stability yeah so I maybe this isn't as much about video but I'd love to hear like what are just some things that you've loved about being in New York City yeah. or, or that have jumped out at you or or maybe something that you've all of a sudden felt really like, ooh, I was worried about this and now look at what I'm doing yeah. now here in New York City. I think honestly the biggest thing is navigating the city. Like yeah. I like to say I have a good sense of direction, but it definitely is very daunting coming here um, by myself and kind of getting used to living here and stuff. But I honestly love the kind of hustle bustle environment, the go, go, go. Um, it really, I feel like, fuels me to like want to do more and want to push myself out of the box. Also, just the dance scene here is obviously incredible. I'm very fortunate that our program director has organized so many opportunities for us to go and explore different um, avenues of like dance outside of just like going to shows and stuff. Like this morning, we were at the New York Public Library and looking at archival things. And I think it's all very, very important to immerse yourself in the dance world in that sense. Mm -hmm. So I've found a lot more appreciation for what is out there versus mm -hmm. what um, it was when I was in Florida. So I keep my computer keeps going to sleep, everybody. <laughs> this is like we're going to have like outtakes on this <laughs> Instagram live. Um, well, so I would love to hear what um, what have you been working on here? You know, because I feel like sometimes. Sometimes Meg's with you, sometimes mm -hmm. Mason's with you, mm -hmm. um, sometimes I'm here in the office yeah. with you. Um, but what are some things that you've been working on and maybe what has been something that you've really enjoyed working on since you've been interning? Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing is um, getting to pull footage to create uh, social clips for the team and for our the social media, which has been really fun because I kind of get to go in and, and see like all these amazing edits that our editors do and I just get to kind of a little like snippet which is so hard sometimes because everything is just so amazing I'm like how can I choose just one little yeah. 30 second clip but I've done a lot of making of social clips I've been doing some other footage pulling for like montages to put up on the social media which has been super fun just getting to go through everything um, obviously shadowing on the two shoots I have so far was yeah. so fun getting to work with you and Ashley especially because 
Ashley isn't in the office that often, so it's nice to kind of get to spend some time with her as videographer and watch her. And especially during the Phil Danko shoot, I really enjoyed getting to see the two of you kind of in action oh. and just like see. See, and I thought it was going to be like boring. I was like, okay, Caroline, <laughs> you're just going to stand behind us. Oh, like, I going to be fun. It. I <laughs> loved it. I just, I think it's so cool to see um, video and dance through with the lens like not just, even though I wasn't the one actually documenting mm -hmm. it I think it's so cool it's like I glance over and I see the dancers but then it's like how are you choosing to capture it I think yeah. it's so cool yeah um and then another thing that I've been working on with Meg is obviously going through all our equipment in the office oh my goodness I know you have to tell everybody about that <laughs> yes they've been they've been on major equipment oh oh look let's see Oh, what has been your favorite shoot so far? That's oh, what you're being asked. So I've only gone to two. I went to the Live Arts promo shoot and then the Phil Danko one. Uh, they were both very different, so I don't think I can choose a favorite so far. But one the of the Live Arts was kind of it. That was exciting. That was a fun shoot. We can't talk about it too much because yeah. the videos have not been launched yet. But, but yeah, yeah, it was something different that I haven't gotten to experience in what I was doing at school, and it was a very like nice like not super crazy shoot day kind of vibe mm -hmm. it was a nice one since that was the first one i got to come along with and that was the first time i got to go to live arts yeah so that was really cool and you you can also tell everybody you got to like be inducted into getting coffee yes. for the team yes true intern moment i got to go run and get <laughs> coffee <laughs> yeah i feel like that's that's like the rite of passage yes just go get coffee mm -hmm. at least now you've done it yep. maybe you don't have to ever do it again <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't that bad yeah. i'd do it again but right you were very fast you were like super <laughs> <laughs> like you got it so fast I was like she's never gonna make it back on time and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden this is what happens the young spritey energy just like gets you I just doing things quickly I be I think it's the city it's just really fueling how fast I walk yeah so. <laughs> yeah that's that's amazing so um is there anything else so just for those of you who don't know social clips are um just like a 30 second minute clip that we pull from things that we filmed and we get the approval from the artists, make sure they're happy with it. And then we put it up on our social media to just show all the beautiful things that we, that we film. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's see. Yeah. Whatever needs to be done. Exactly. Yes. Yep. It's so that's true. <laughs> I know. I say to everybody also, like I still take out the trash, you know, that's, I, I actually set it right outside my door, but <laughs> I take it out and move it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Whatever needs to be done. So let me see if there's something that I, is there anything else that you want to share? Um, you know, that's been, that's been maybe something that you've learned that you mm -hmm. didn't know you were going to learn, um, on this internship mm -hmm. so far. You still have a few months. Yes. But is there anything that pop, pops out at you that, um, yeah, I feel like just in general, um, administration types of not like administration administration but more like like go, knowing when to go check stuff on like the google drive or like asana and all that and all these mm -hmm. different communications mm -hmm. that i didn't realize well i knew would be a part of it but mm -hmm. just kind of learning to navigate that because obviously when you get trained it's all a little daunting yeah but i think that aspect of it in that organization and how i mean as a team so organized and there's so many little things I'm like wow I would have never thought about this so I think mm -hmm. that aspect of this internship has been really beneficial mm -hmm. especially again going into um like being about to graduate and like that kind of aspect of just like yeah. the uh, career is like being able to navigate that just like oh I can do the thing but some of the other little mundane like sending emails and like being able to communicate with people when right. you need to I think that's been something really beneficial and also just uh, communication skills in general yeah it's very important and I think that's something I've been learning and still continue to learn especially with that's the team wonderful. being so remote I well. love I love that you said that because I feel like that that's it's that's not the easy thing to mm -hmm. say or like mm -hmm. the um I don't know of another word to say but like the sexy thing to say yeah like the, the, it would be better to be like oh and I learned like watching Ashley Gimbel like mm -hmm. how I should gimbal around the artist or something mm -hmm. like that but but you're saying something that really I think is is very important yeah. you know we, we take for granted the fact that um just communicating back and forth to people mm -hmm. sometimes can can just lend itself so much to furthering your career yeah more than you realize mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it's been super great and I just think that I I'm learning more than I realize in that aspect. And then obviously all the cool stuff, like watching y'all film and stuff, like of course I'm learning from that. And yeah. um, for future work and then getting to sit and watch you edit occasionally, like that aspect is always super beneficial as well. But I definitely think 
that more. And that's something yeah. we talked about before we all came to New York. Like my whole cohort was like, this is going to be a big part of every single internship, regardless of where you're working. Mm-hmm. And so it's going to be important for you to like build up on these skills, yeah. especially going into the workforce after this. So. Definitely. All these things you can be like, I learned how to use Asana. Yep. I that learned. was a little scary at first, but yeah. she's easy. Yeah, she's easy. <laughs> she's easy. Well, okay, I'm going to surprise you on something, oh. and we're going to take everybody on a little tour of the office. Um, so there's a few people on here, but for people that watch later, you get to see a little tour of the office. So maybe you can be my host, and, yes. and I'm going to film and take everybody on a tour if I can figure out how to turn this thing around. Okay, here we go. So um, now you're seeing a close-up of my face, but now you're not. <laughs> Okay, so ready, Caroline? You're yes. gonna start at, the door, start at the door, and you can unlock the door. And what's happening out here? Is there a dancer out there? Oh, there's not anymore. So okay. The hallway. They so, come up on the st- up and we're the at New York City Center. Yes, we yeah. are. So on center. what floor? Five M. Okay, so, great. And then we come in the office. Okay. Super cute. <laughs> you get to hear a lot we're of ballet gonna... music and stuff. Over yes, here. you do. Okay. We're our coat rack. Our yeah. coat rack. Everybody wants to see our coat exciting. rack. Yep. Um, this is our little area where we have tea and coffee. We yes. Have the fridge, so if you need to pick me up. Um, yes. And we have our little sitting area with our super cool let's talk. DNH and H box. Design. Oh, yes. Got some drives. Very important yep. stuff in there. Let's yeah. talk dance. This is my favorite part of the office. I think it's so cool. Oh, you love let's talk in, dance. I was like, that's so cool. Yeah. Nice, nice. Little sitting area. All right. Now our sitting area over here is a little bit like not a little feng shui right yeah. now, but but she's usually pulled. we're usually pulled back. Yeah. So we got editing suite over here, the right? Nice studio. We have our beautiful clients that will sit next to us. Okay. We also like yeah. all. Everyone wants to yeah. use it. She's. Amazing. She's an amazing computer. Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here to part two of the office. Two. Um, we have all of our equipment. We look at all that gear. Amazing. Um, so all the gear, everything you can need for a shoot and mm-hmm. more. Yeah. Okay. And then over here we have the iMac, which I usually sit at and do my work. Yeah. So Downloading some footage to make a social clip right now, right here. Great, and this painting right there is by my sister, oh. Jane Shelby. You can all look her up. Yes. All um, right, we got more IMAX, right? More IMAX. More so IMAX. We have a lot of, we this is where there. I'm logging footage right now yes. from a show we filmed last night. Mm. Yep, okay, let's see. Anything else? This is our beautiful design. My sister also helped me design this yes. office. It's All right. Nice well, Caroline, thank you so much for joining of us course. and everyone else. And I hope you have a wonderful time with the rest of your internship. Thank you. I'm and so happy to be here. yes, we are organized. <laughs> Someone very, said we're organized. Very and, organized. And, and your shirt is loved also. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see if I can.